Hello everyone, welcome back to another video. It's your host Ray. Today's video is another is another review of a model tank kit. Uh, this one I built about a year ago in the summer of 2018. Um, but don't worry, I still remember the build. I'm just re-reviewing it because the last video that I did was just absolutely horrendous, and I, ju I just took too much time to cover just a very little amount of information, uh, very small amount of information. So I felt like redoing it. So. This definitely isn't as high quality as my other kits, like the like that's on my end for building it. But uh, I'll try and review it to the best of my ability, so here we go. So let me start off with my overall thoughts of the build. It was a pretty pleasant build, uh, nothing that I remember being too harsh, just... <laughs> there's one thing that I have to complain about the most. The tracks. They are molded in a brown color, which one I really don't like. I wish they were molded in black, but it's not that big of an issue because, like, you can just airbrush it and paint it black, which is fine. But they are assembled one by one, well, one link by one link. And they are supposed to be um, workable, but it's very hard to achieve that. And I ended up just gluing mine to the wheels so they wouldn't be workable. Um... The uh, chassis and the wheels, they are also fully functional, they do, which is really impressive. I'm really impressed by Amusing Hobby's ability to do that. Um, and they do that with a lot of the kits. I just finished the uh, VK72.01K, and uh, the tracks are on that one are also workable, but let's focus on this. I need to stop getting off topic. Uh, yeah, the wheels are supposed to move and everything, but I just figured I wouldn't do that, just to, in the honor of not screwing anything over too much. But uh, yeah, that's a very realistic detail that not many... Um, modeling companies do, which is really nice. Um, only other issue I remember having is attaching the um, side skirt armor as well as the hull to the um, like like upper hull to the lower hull. I just remember that being a very hard thing to do. But uh, yeah, like there was a lot of things I had to sand, but otherwise it, it was pretty it was pretty smooth. As there was also a few, quite a few like details, such as little hooks that I kept losing the parts due, due to like bad molding quality. But I mean, they're they're just little parts, so I I really have to give them a break on that. And yeah, that, that's pretty much it. That's uh, for like complaints and stuff. Otherwise, it's a very smooth build. If you have the correct equipment, go for it. But make but like you need precision tweezers and fast drying glue for sure. Those are the two top priorities. But uh, otherwise. It's a pretty streamlined build. I'll go over the tank now as well as some other things. Uh, so let's begin. This is going to be a longer review because it's a bigger tank. So um, if you don't want to stick around for that, then just, yeah. We'll start at the front of the hull. Um, here we have, let me use my precision tweezers. Here we have a light here that can, that illuminates the path of the tank at night if it's driving. Um, here's the uh, driver's optic port. Not much to say there. Uh, and now let me, uh, give me a second. <laughs> yeah, there's really no way I can pull this off other than just doing it this way. Here's the uh, driver's hatch as well as the assistant driver slash radio man, I believe is the radio man. Um, not much to say there. I do, I do remember the fit of the uh, driver's hatch and radio man's hatch being kind of hard to put on, but like... After a bit of sanding and cutting, they were easy to just insert into the slots here. I believe you can position them either open or close. However, I don't remember having uh, give, being given that option, so I'm just gonna say that they're permanent. That uh, they can be permanently closed, uh, but not opened. So, yeah. Off to the side of the tank. Here's the massive side skirt armor. Oh, okay, just let me. <laughs> I'm sorry about that. Here's the massive side skirt armor as well as the uh, chassis here. It's it's pretty. It's pretty cool how they let you have it either attached or not attached, which uh, th that's a pretty nice feature. Just but I felt like attaching it, attaching it anyway. Um, I already said everything I needed to say about the chassis. The uh, chassis. So let's move on. Let me. Uh, by the way, the turret does rotate a full three hundred and sixty degrees. Um, off to the side of the turret here, you are given an option to have a sort of crane hook that um, would be like to the side here. I don't have it with me right now, so I can't really point out what it looks like, but there is an option to do that. Um, where like you can hook up the, cra the little crane here. I believe it's more of a pulley system, and that pulley system was used to attach and remove the side skirt armor because, I mean, this is a huge-ass tank. So, sorry for the expression, but, but it's a really big tank, so, I mean, <laughs> you would... 
you would need like more than three men to at least like try and haul the um side skirts up so there's no way you would do that without the assistance of a pulley system now on the turret you can probably see it there's little holes in there like little indentations that's actually a detailed feature that is included in the turret which is really really cool i had no idea it would be like that and to be honest that is a very cool feature and i really do appreciate that that was included by amusing hobby well done on their part I know it sounds like I'm praising the tank a lot. This is No, this is not a paid promotion. There is no way in hell that I get paid to tell you this. Trust me. <laughs> Alright, moving towards the back of the tank. Let me move the turret as I nearly break the turret. Um, <laughs> not much going on. Just photo The only photo watch in this, in this tank is just the engine grill or the uh, radiator and um, intake exhaust grills. Not exhaust, but like engine stuff. That's, that's the only thing I can call it. Um... Back here, just here are the exhausts and just a few little, I'm not sure what these things do, but there's little hooks back there, just, to, they just exist. Uh, and yeah, the other side of the tank, not much going on up there. And uh, yeah, let's move up to the turret. The giant box, uh, I'm sorry, the, the turret, I was going to say giant box, uh, because it is almost a box. So the turret is, is pretty cool, it does rotate to full 360 degrees, does, not much going on up here. There's two hatches up here, I believe, for the commander and the um, gunner, just to chill up there and vibe. Uh, they, they can't be positioned in the open posi position, they can only be positioned to be closed. Uh... And now we'll move on to the gun. It's the big 15 centimeter gun, 450 millimeters, based off the World of Tanks Blitz model um, with the uh, muzzle brake that looks like this. Let me zoom into that for you. Yeah, now you can see the rifling, that, not rifling, but just the muzzle brake stuff. Um, and also here are three stripes, the white stripes that I felt like including just for kicks. Why not? Felt like doing that. There's no decals. Those are painted on. Because uh, that's what I like doing. I just like painting on stuff. And as we move to the um, barrel of the gun here, not much going on. The gun does elevate and depress, which is really nice. Um, and here is the backup 75 millimeter gun, which is pretty cool. I did not, I did not expect them to have two guns, which is pretty nice. That's pretty much it for the review. Now I'm just going to go over the paint and finish the outro. Uh, so yeah, if, if you're not here for that, then just, you can leave. Thanks for watching. Uh, but about the paint, I just used, um, I just did just a random paint that I felt like doing. And it actually turned out pretty well, uh, compared, like, as there's quite a few blemishes and everything, but it, it was my second kit using the airbrush. So yeah, now I've gotten a lot more experience with it and I can probably use it a lot more effectively, but, uh, still this one was my second build of the airbrush and it came out pretty nice. Um, I just used uh, Vallejo Gamer paints and uh, it turned out quite wonderfully. Uh, yeah, that's pretty much it for the review. I don't think I have any spare tracks so I can show you how to assemble the tracks. You'll have to do that on your own. Uh, but yeah, thanks for watching. Like, comment, subscribe. See you guys later. Um, yeah, that's it. Signing out.